Hello and welcome everybody. This is Yaniman bringing you another Fleet Ops audio commentary. I have the pleasure of bringing you a 1v1 tonight. Uh, get ready to die versus old time pro. Now, let's take a look at where these guys are started and um, let's see what's going on. So, get ready to die, playing the blue Borg here. And he's spawning over here in the left hand side of Blue Skies. It's a, it's a non dual map. It's got all sorts of similar to dual uh, features, though. Uh, multiple lanes, sort of this diagonal uh, bend to the map, and all sorts of goodies like that. Um, over here in the bottom right hand corner, sporting the Purple Dominion, this is Old Time Pro. Now, Old Time Pro here is. Um, is in the finals with Boggs as for the spring slash summer tournament so we should see a really good match out of him so old time swears him down that he's not a spammer uh, and taking him at his word we should not expect um, as to spam now Versus the Borg, the S2s can do really well. Um, the torpedoes they do, they're fast, they got torpedoes, you can mass them up pretty good. And they hurt the Borg quite nicely. Um, the Borg, on the other hand, can go scout cubes and counter those by just being faster and spammier. So we'll see what um, Get Ready to Die does out of this. Now, we can see here that Old Time Pro is expanding. Looks like he's going to expand out to this moon. And he's doing a really good job of scouting all over the place. Uh, get ready to die. Also doing scouting. This is... You cannot get past, say, an intermediate level of play if you do not scout. I mean, yeah, you can, you can take some good strategies and you just pop them out. You know, like scout cubes or bombers or S2s and, and you can play pretty good but if you really really want to get better than say intermediate you have to scout scout around you need to know where your armies are you need to know where your opponents armies are you need to be on the ball keep that in mind when you uh, when you're playing so haven't quite got down to what this guy is doing yet we are seeing optimize avatar not unexpected and right here we are seeing pure tech. So no, uh, none of those thingies that I am totally missing. A bug out on the board, followed by a second construction yard. This is a common uh, pure tech strategy for the Dominion. They just double yard, then get they get a nice little avatar bonus. And let's take a look at this. I believe they still get the. Uh, oh, I take that back. They don't get the construction bonus. Alas. Uh, unless, unless I'm crazy. No brain cruiser, no brain, no brain. Okay, no brain. So, yeah. They just don't have it. So, it looks like old times going bugs. Um, these bugs have ADAI, which is nice against medium. And here on this side, it looks like there's just some minor scout cube going on. He's got and a minor probe. Almost looks like a 2-2-2 two, two, two strat where he builds two of almost everything as he rolls up into the next tech. Borg are could, uh, setting up a, a proxy uplink uh, constructor and you know, players do this when they want to um, be a little bit closer. It's effectively a, a proxy yard but it does run the risk of uh, it, it makes your assembly node a tad bit vulnerable as it actually makes your uplinks vulnerable if the opponent finds them. Uh, it, it's good in the early game where they can't put out a lot of firepower. Uh, right now you're looking at you know a couple bugs. These bugs are not really going to take this down by the time it takes to build, so it's kind of safe. In the late game, however, or middle game, they will burn through these things. Go um, nothing like hearing cube go up the board, and, <laughs> and then having a whole fleet of Klingons decloak and burn it down. That will make your board player happier. 
So Old Time Pro going mass bugs. Haven't seen this in a while. Um, it's it's kind of pretty to see. We'll, we'll actually see if he can baby those bugs like uh, some of those other players that we know. You see that he has not gone for tech yet. Uh, not really any need because he's going straight bugs. Um, but it also says that he is not moving, he's not expecting to go any higher. He, he expects to go Zerg Rush with these bugs. You can see the scout here flying away has managed to draw off. Okay, so this is... Um, <laughs> the, the scout's presence over here and just knowing where this assembly node is has... Um, drawn the Borg player all the way over here and so Old Time Pro knows this and is going to try to take advantage of that. Now however the one problem with these Borg miners is they're just really really sturdy uh, and this bug here taking just a ton of damage from the starbase these bugs are not that uh, sturdy so they tend to fall really really fast. You notice that they're doing only a little bit of damage they work at it long enough they'll get it but um, what it does is it does tie up your his fleet and let's get ready to die sneak all the way back here but you can see this scout here has managed to uh, keep an eye on that fleet and that's that's really good play there on old times part keeping an eye on that fleet allows him to retreat his vessels much much sooner you can see up here that he's taken off the chase um, and maybe perhaps wants to uh, come back down in here. So the Borg have gotten a kill, has have taken quite a bit of fire on his ships. Now the Borg are obviously cannot repair and so when you take a Borg ship down to half that's actually something. It, it can't go back and repair. It's going to have to sit there and do its little regen thing for a while. It'll be out of commission for mm, a good mm, you know, 10 minutes. You know, that's that's significant in, in a 1v1 match. Now, you can see the bugs are still slowly piling up. And the strategy that uh, Old Time Pro is doing here is going to have to make sure he babies all of his bugs. Uh, the Borg are going to end up getting this capture or get the kill. Old Time just not being micro enough with his scout. But these bugs looking to get some damage on these cubes, maybe get a kill. This is going to be decisive. And it looks like Get Ready to Die is trying to keep his ships moving, get them out of the way, take them up the corner of the map get him out of there. These bugs are just searching. You can see that he just can't see it. And Old Time Pro getting a nice little army of um, bugs here. This fleet of bugs is going to be able to do some decent damage. And here comes the scout cubes coming up along the side right into this mining. Um, what he doesn't know, what uh, Old uh, Get Ready to Die doesn't know is this bug fleet. And now he does. Here's this bug fleet. And all that, um, all that these bugs got to do is stay alive, get some kills in. Um, there is a single miner going to take it all the way. Nope. And it looks like he's going to get away. And here are these bugs going to put some extra damage. They've managed to take out a scout cube. They may very well get this. I'm sorry, take it out of the probe. They may very well get the scout cube. There's just enough of them. Wow, and those bugs are actually faster than I thought. Oh, you can see a nice little uh, cut, heading them off at the pass. Old Time Pro known to peel this guy off, doing it good. And this is where it starts to hurt. Is he going to pull out a ram? Looks like uh, not. It's going to just save, going to keep on keeping on. Old Time Pro routing the Borg Menace from his base. Let's take a look. Got a dode. Is this a dode turret? Yes, sir, it is. I love it when d people do this. Dode turrets are an awesome Borg uh, invention, if you will. What they they do is they a they have a lot more defense um, than your standard dode, and so they'll take just a ton of extra fire. And on top of that defense, it gives you the ability to drop a dode. Just re uh, drop a dode 
pretty much where you want it to. It's one of the it's, it's the most offensive turret in the game, quite frankly. Um, and here we see that get ready to die is feeling a little bit of pressure from these bugs trying to put some stuff down there. However, he's got to be welcoming that. Interestingly enough, he's putting that dote turret in the expansion. What he hasn't realized is that um, because because Old Time Pro has set up his expansion off of a forward base, or maybe he does realize it. Uh, I, I don't know if he actually got, got a chance to view that. He just saw some bugs. He is actually sacrificing sacrificing firepower. So, Old Time Pro in a good set up here a refinery up here does old time pro not see these guys oh yes he does and he's going to come up all the way up here and he's going to take these guys out they're going to have nowhere to run really so we are looking at a now that's a double intercept those would be really nice for their uh, disabling abilities but it Oh, and ADAI does less versus support ship, so the Dode is the perfect counter to that. The problem could be that now we're sitting on, looks like, about eight of these guys, and those eight versus one, yes, yes, this Dode has a special, allows it to double fire, but after a while, it's just the numbers are working in the favor how Ever. I see a second dode here, and now that may really, really turn the tide. Keeping the uh, b keeping uh, the fleet over here, these bug fleet over here, is going to allow um, get ready to die the ability to know where this guy is. Gonna not gonna worry about it too much. Oh, here's another total of ten bugs here. You can see the double torps coming out. The Dode actually doing pretty good as it um, is soaking up that damage. One of those guys did a uh, good old ram trying to make sure that this guy didn't uh, get away. They're getting a kill, so these Dodes are <laughs> taking the damage pretty good, but you can see the effect that it's having. Down goes one. Um, this dude, down goes another one of these bugs. So the bug fleet kind of just getting slaughtered here. And it looks like down goes the dude. So out of that fleet of 10, it got cut it in half. So that ended up doing, routing these bugs pretty good. So get ready to die, not giving up. Let's see what... It's coming down the pipeline. You might expect S2s, and there you see the S2s. Here comes a single dode moseying on down. Is this a yep, yep. scout cube on its way? So we might see, and this is a little tad risky, that get ready to I come in over here and try to um, beat down on some of this mining. But it looks really like he hasn't seen that. And this sort of forward base for uh, Old Time Pro is really working in his favor. And you can look at just how much dilithium this guy has versus the Borg. The, well, the Borg have got a thousand, having spent a little bit there too. You can see a skew coming up. He's playing versus. I really think, ah, look Look at his collective connections. Not that heavy. I think he's really just trying to get some get some uh, shots on the board. You know, get a little bit of firepower on the board. He has been fighting sort of at a disadvantage after losing that early scout cube. Here is that uh, dodecahedron putting on some pressure. Here is the other dodecahedron. And two against five versus two against ten earlier. This guy can really oh and you can see that special coming out those uh, just burning away those ADII versus those does really not helping and let's see are they gonna get the kill they do get the kill these does need to get in on the kill here comes a scout cube providing that extra little bit of firepower 
They just need to get a couple more kills, and they are really turning the tides on this. Can they get that one more kill? Yes, they did. They absolutely got the kill. These bugs having split up, and we see S2s on the board, at least one. What are we waiting on here? Old Time Pro, where is Old Time Pro? Old Time Pro trying to go uh, check something out. Notices this dough turn here, and that is going to that is going to keep Old Time Pro out of there. Get ready to die. Putting a lot of pressure on this mining, uh, forcing the decom there. That's nice. The the Borg have really turned it around. Get ready to die. Making a uh, a, a nice little comeback here. I really thought he was in trouble. Managed to do a good job here. This one guy trying to get in this green nebula, but I think there's really just too much firepower, and there is, but I don't think Old Time Pro is trying to do anything more than just delay these guys for that last bit. So the Borg now sitting on two Dilithium expansions, though they're both halfway done. Old Time Pro doing S2 spam, and he is just sitting on a ton of Dilithium. Really need to see another, perhaps, there's the technology lab, you get the S2s, catch a cell white. You, you almost want to see Old Time Pro go a third construction yard. Just spam the crap. But Old Time Pro running right into his uh, supply wall here very, very shortly. Has got no supply mining up, gonna have to buy that shortly. And you can see that he is going through that dilithium pretty fast. Borg hanging out here, oddly enough. Not not moving forward. They've got a thousand on that. Their supply looking pretty good. Almost want oh, and they have gone heavy scout cubes. There goes energy nodes level two. He's feeling that pinch. He's uh pinched on his um uh collective connections. Dodes making their way down into the main backside as we see more S2s coming up on the way. Fast tracking computers here. I'm sorry, tactical weapons way. And these are the counter for the Dodes. But it almost feels, again, it almost feels like Get Ready to Die is reading his mind. He knows that the Dodes are countered by the S2s and the S2s are countered by the Scoops. So he's putting some scoops out on the board. That's sort of a a an early early counter. So here these does are setting up shop, trying to take out some stuff here, but not getting what they want. Old time pro to uh, to Johnny on the spot with the uh, repair and th those uh, those does wanting to get a little bit more kill here, but here comes this tactical weapons ray gonna. Take uh, and not going to take less damage. Just going to do more, and these guys moving away. So here we see more S2s swooping in, trying to get a little bit extra damage on these guys. These guys are pumping out the the special. Are it's on cooldown. The dude's uh, random system disabler able to get in a couple shots. These guys just not enough of them to. Burn down these dudes. And here comes the scout cubes. Get ready to die. Really putting in the pressure on this expansion while he was attacking. This is good good, good on him. Keeping two places going at once. Uh, knowing where the, that army is. And get ready to die. Really winning the macro battle here. As well as these short skirmishes. Uh, almost expect th this guy to be decommed as um, he, Old Time Pro has lost this position. I think he really wants to do is get an S2 out. He just and he's going to move a fleet up in order to support that. Another bug on the way. Now the Borg are separated, and these bugs could come in here. And this fleet could just get enough damage on these scout cubes to take them out. This uh, yard is about to 
Let's see if Old Time can micro these guys just good enough. This one bug, not quite getting it in there. They are going to get a bug for a Scout Cube. I think that's a good trade. These guys want to move back as the Dodes come into support on this side. This S2 really taking a lot of fire from that um, those ships. And so those Scout Cubes are going to put a lot of damage on. And it does not get in. It takes it right there takes a couple of photon torpedoes up its um, aft shaft if you will this guy gonna try to run away try to get out but those scout cubes are also fast and at this point in time I don't think old time pro has a leg to stand on He's, oddly enough they are firing at the ship in the construction yard not the smartest thing in the world to do um, what I what I like to see people doing is when they're they keep one ship on the um, guy who's repairing just to keep him in the repair yard and then pick off everything else on the board uh, as they repair line up. Oh, and an engine kill from those dude, and they have uh, that disabling is really serving them in good steed. You can see Old Time Pro having given up on those guys. Now let's see what he has got in his main. Old Time Pro having gone early ships is now starting to lose the tech battle. Oh, hello. I'm sorry, folks. I totally missed where his money was going. He has pulled out a B5. This B5 will too lovely. Lovely. These guys are nasty to get if you can swarm enough of them, you really can take out the, um, do a number against the Borg. So the Borg, you can see, are moving up into their sphere, having decided that their early game ships are sufficient for what is out there. They are going to come down here, and the Borg at the moment, they have the advantage. They really need to press their advantage. If they can take on, really take out this Tritanium, this guy would be in a world of trouble. Where, oh where, is all that supply going? There's an S2, and Old Time Pro is supply locked. One of the things is Dominion you gotta worry about is getting that supply, otherwise you run into that supply wall. And you can see that Old Time Pro has deprioritized that versus getting ships on the board. You see the Borg are about to run into their supply wall too, and under 100 going for that incubation center, they are going to hit the supply wall for a little bit. Uh, at 65 supply, I don't remember exactly if they have enough for that sphere, but that sphere is going to be titanium locked for a little while. Question is, are the Borg going to move up? And I really think they should. They are looking like they're going to try to do it. That prototype having only two fighters because it's being because it is a prototype. Oh, and this is actually going to hurt because that's really where the Dominion are hurting is on these Tritanium. Well, next to the uh, supply, and uh, down goes another S2. Those short-ranged vessels countering on that out S2 just to take that tactical weapon array taking more damage, taking a whole 25%, 24%, and uh, Get Ready to Die really has Old Time's number here. Not sure what Old Time wants to do here. He is in trouble. The amount of ships he has on the board is just dwindling. Looking for supply anytime soon. I don't know what the Borg are doing. The Borg should press this advantage. They should scout more. The only scouting he's gotten is on his uh, ships. I don't know why he's going all the way back. Seems like a very, very uh, inappropriate move. He's, he's got the field advantage. He, I think he's he, he thinks something that Old Time has something up his sleeve. Old Time's sitting on Tritanium locked, waiting to buy supplies there. Uh, you can see that he was expecting an early win with those bugs. Has not, just not in the mindset for buying supply. Oh, and I'm sorry, that 68 allowed to get one to build, but not to build all the way. 
Build the chassis, not the ship. Oh, hello. Uh, and here are the bugs. Making their presence known. I was wondering where that fleet went, and wondering why this fleet was moving around. And that's why these bugs um, getting caught, and one trying to sacrifice, and these guys... Um, Oh, that one getting away. This one getting away. Old Time Pro getting a couple ships out. At this point, the Borg have... Um, really, they have the map. They have the offensive advantage. And let's see, do they have enough for that sphere? Not quite yet. Down here, did I just see another... Nope, there's the prototype. There's the S2. Doesn't have any special... B5's coming on the board. Trying to get this these Borg, trying to finish off this dadgum bug as it is um, slowly moving its way across the board as these cubes are trying to catch up to it. Medium range. <laughs> the bug trying to kite that scube. These guys are going to end up cornering this little bug and unfortunately it will not make its whole way back to its mama. Hmm. So, in the meantime, I'm really expecting the Borg to try to seal this deal. Oddly enough, they're going after this one kill. Uh, you can see that it did a bug ram on the uh, rolling dice. And so, uh, now we are down to this whole fleet versus this whole fleet. Let's see a B8. Um, have you had your V8 today? Don't know why this V8 is coming out on the board. It's pulse weapons. Just, j I just don't think they're that effective against the Borg. Maybe he needs. To, I, I really don't know. He's not gonna, not gonna research the special. It's just not worth it. Uh, if if you've ever tried boarding a Borg vessel, it just doesn't work that well. Um, you know, you know might get to take some pretty pictures though. Old time gonna have to go against this fleet of seven Borg, eight Borg ships. Uh, old time pros, uh, scouts getting chased off a of hair. Really, what old time? If old time can pull off those scubes, take the experience from them. They they may just they just may work. So the one thing about this B eight, I I'm don't remember off the top of my head what its specials are, as the um, you don't see the B8s that often. However, depending on what the specials are, it may be trying to counter better than the S2, because the S2s are just getting hammered by those cubes, um, and those dudes are able to walk all over the board as they see fit. Let's take a look at this sphere, as it it's about 75% uh, done. Almost ready for a diamond. Uh, collective connection wise but really hurting on that supply gonna need to get another uh, supply depot going incubation center sorry starcraft 2 roots showing and we can see that's exactly what's going on so here comes the big battle as they are running in this one bug trying to get in to the yard is it gonna make it oh it does but it dies anyway old time pro sitting on Decent amount of dilithium going to be able to deal with that. Here we see three B5s. B5s want to get in. Let's see. Let's take a look at this B8s. Does it have sh shuttle bays? Oh, that's what's going on. He wants shuttle bays. He's giving himself some backup. Oh, and these guys could really... Oh, they need to go in after these guys get a kill off on that dode. The, um... Those, uh... Uh... Fighters are taking in a lot of the damage for the uh, Dominion. I love the fact that that's basically a passive defensive bonus. And he's out of supplies. Completely unrelated. So Old Time Pro sneaking around with his scouts, doing a good job there. Probably knows that there's a sphere on the board. There it is. And this guy is a Regen Torpedo. I love seeing these guys. Highest DPS that you can get. Um, 
And when they hit, it hits hard. And that they will do actually fairly decent against these ships. They're mostly large or medium vessels. I, I can't remember what this one is. This one's at least a medium. And do we have... Oh, yeah, that supply is just killing uh, old time throw those dominions is needing that supply see the scout cubes moving around two four six of these guys able to just waltz all over the place you can see the Borg have basically this blue area all over here except for this small corner scout knows about this expansion the Borg is rolling in the dough not rolling in enough supplies though and they're a little hurt on the Tritanium Old Time Pro trying to, to stave off things here. You can see he bought supplies already. Um, but what is he building in the meantime? Okay, so he bought supplies. That gives you 250. There's just... Oh, no, he did not buy supply. He has finally got his uh, supply mining up. You can see that the... Borg are playing footsies. Um, oddly enough, they're going all the way over here to try to get a scout. Um, it's a tad bit dangerous. Well, a tad bit mm, only okay. As it, uh, it leaves these guys vulnerable to whatever they can throw at them. Granted, a Borg sphere and a, a pair of dodes flanking it not that vulnerable, but um, does lack um, some... It lacks defense, actually. I'm sorry, it lacks offense. These, Except for these S2s will take too much damage. Now, these guys, I, I think, incorrectly going after that sphere, these guys should just hammer away at those dodes and if they want to do anything. Um, you can see, wow, the this uh, Borg special here allows it to just slaughter all of those fighters. Another B8 coming out, followed by, nope, still missing the supply on this guy. As we see that the Borg are coming up from underneath, having drawn away things, this B S2 needs to get out and get into the repair, and this guy could eat it if uh, he doesn't watch out. Get the Dominion a little bit of extra, give him a little bit of extra experience, and ex experience is what he's needing. He doesn't have the ships to... He doesn't have enough ships to to get that final kill in, but if he can get some rank ups, that's the one thing that the Borg not having really does hurt later in the game. Is it's like I'm doing, I'm I'm killing things that just don't get any benefits. Um, waiting on that supply. There's another B8 probably on. I saw the supply go down. Don't know where it's coming from. Oh, another miner. Where is he mining from? Oh, he's gonna try to. Uh, he's going to get a, probably another supply mining. He is really hurting on that supply. Oddly enough, he uh, you would expect him to turn a couple of these over. And a scout being silly and wandering all the way into the wrong area. A little bit of kill would have been great here. Uh, fighters just not able to keep up with it. Scout cube. I'm sorry, scout gets away. A little detector gets away. Oddly enough, the Borg are feeling very trepid as are tepid as they just don't want to engage. They they they're having to spend all this time moving around the map, trying to get in different angles. Um, and Old Time Pro is just setting up shop, not uh, not getting baited. Almost feels like he should cancel one of these BAs, give him enough supply for the his next B5 but let's see what the Borg got going on so Borg are sporting enough connections you would expect a second sphere there it is and these guys are going to 
try to engage, and this guy needs to turn around. Uh, they are not going to get the kill here. They just uh, this that Dominion taking a lot of uh, beating on this, uh, getting beat on this war frigate taking uh, torpedo hits, and it's going to end up going down too if it doesn't watch out. And there it goes. Its engines are out. And the Borg are going to come in. Going to be able to regen. And just going to start getting kills. Here's a prototype. And it is just getting hammered with those torpedoes as well. The Borg finally moving in. And they're going to make a... Dominion going to basically make a last stand here. They're just not going to be able to uh, weather this storm. Oddly enough, let's see. The Borg are out of energy. And that's why they're retreating. Not unexpected but they have managed to, without losing ships, get some kills, and slowly but surely, slowly but surely, B8s, a couple B8s on the way, and finally, that uh, B5 coming in, going to be able to put a little bit of extra pressure on uh, with those extra fighters, but Borg have not lost ships in a while. Scout Cube's just hanging out here doing, uh, doing the Scout Cube dance. Kind of uh, to the Scout Cube music. Bow, bow, chicka, bow, bow. And um, Old Time Pro just kind of hanging on for dear life here. Um, he's He's got enough ships. He's got some ships on the board. Uh, if, he, if they come in on the... They come in within range of that star base, that star base will beat on things. It looks like it's been upgraded offensively wise. And here comes the Scout Cubes. Now, the scout cubes are basically sitting experience for the rest of these ships. This B5 comes out. Uh, where's that B8 coming out to? Supply has... Looks like he... Mm, can't tell if he bought supply or not. You see the spheres uh, drawing that fleet off. Torpedoes whacking on stuff. As these scout cubes going to try to come up from underneath and beat on these miners. You can see that Old Time Pro uh, feeling that. And here comes some Scout Cube experience, maybe. This um, B8, I'm sorry, B5, not wanting to take any risk um, as it is uh, semi hesitating back and forth. Don't recall if these cubes actually got a kill out of it. But boy, are the Dominion just hanging on there. Here comes another B5. You almost... What, what is Old Time Pro going to do next? Old Time Pro is sitting out here. He, is, he almost wants to pull in uh, a T-15, I think. So the T-15 having the range uh, would allow it to uh, really add some... Um, and some defensive abilities against those retreating ships a little bit longer. The other thing that he could go to is C-17, the pink beam of death. Got haven't seen one of those in forever, but but boy do those get boy are those fun. You get enough of those, and you just pink beam of death any any Borg ship, and they die really fast. And here comes the diamond, and the diamond looks like a DPS diamond. Are they going to go after it? They are going after the sphere. Oddly enough, they should be going... Ah, ignore the sphere. Go after the diamond. There's the diamond. It is going after the diamond. Now, they really could get some kill here. This guy needs to go repair. And here comes the dodes. Do they want it? Oh, and this... Oh, those dadgum torpedoes really taking its toll. And there is the GG. Old Time Pro not able to fend off against the Borg here. And this... Uh, this Borg fleet here just really had his number all game. Um, but really a fun match to watch. Folks, let me know your comments. Let me, let me know what you like to see, what you don't want to see. And uh, give praise to these guys for putting up a good show. I'm going to sign off, leave you with the explosions. And uh, I'll see you on the flip side of these explosions.